Corona Santa Arts Festival has been a community tradition for more than 15 years. It is such a special event in our community, and community volunteers have always driven it. They've managed it, they've run it, and it's their festival. But as we all grow busier, sometimes volunteers just need additional help to manage and administer a large community event like this. So at the Arts Council, we've had the great privilege of working with the community event volunteers up here on the mountain to bring this festival back to life again this year. And it is such a special community event that we're so honored to be able to continue it for its 16th year now. I love to see on print or on canvas those angles, those lights, and kind of preserve it. And every time I look at them, I go back and think, oh, I remember where we were. I remember how the air was. I remember the feel, what the pleasure is that I get out of it. In the first place, it's on Montesano. It's in the park. I love the park, but also because the artists here are very much, they're artists who love their work. And they come by and they compliment each other. We don't, I don't feel a competition among the artists here. I feel a camaraderie. The first one we had, I found out that all, a lot of my neighbors were actually artists and I didn't know it. So I found out all this stuff, neat stuff about my neighbors. And I, it's just fun. And up here, it's nice and cool in the shade. You get to see people, you get to talk to the artists. And I've gotten to know a lot of the artists over the years. It's called Carta Kakoiothes. They're all maps, um, hand-drawn, plausible, fictitious maps, which some people think is an oxymoron, but it's not and I take the plausible very seriously. So I do a lot of research at different parts of the world and then turn that into a fictional place that could exist. I enjoy making it. I like, I like people to see my artwork. Uh, it just, it's relaxing. Uh, I work a uh, crazy job, so it's, it's just relaxing. I, I come from work and I go to the studio and, it, and I'm in another world creating art. This has such a nice atmosphere. It's really cool, wonderful day. A lot of great artists, people come from all over the region to actually exhibit here. And the public comes in is genuinely engaged. They want to talk to the artists and they want to learn and actually buy. This is a very unique event in Huntsville in that we have other festivals and events throughout the year, but this is an exclusively fine arts festival. So up here on the mountain, you have this amazing setting, the most beautiful setting around. And we fill it with over 140 fine artists this weekend. We supplement it with some great food trucks and some great outdoor performers and musicians, but at its heart, this is a fine arts festival.